Daybreak in Forks begins with a roar. We're about 14 miles from La Push Road. A slow winding drive down a gravel path gives us a glimpse of why the town, at least at one time, claimed the title logging capital of the world. This is back in the days when trees were trees. Big the days are. when proud logging families like Dana Cross's That's my dad. made a good living. It makes me proud. To, I mean, he worked every day and until he got hurt. And then Dana landed a good job at a sawmill, making 20 bucks an hour with a high school diploma. You know, that's how I got all my all my stuff and, you know. But those days? My mess. Are over. Three years ago, two mills shut down within a year of each other. The closures caused an employment crisis. 80% of the town's manufacturing jobs were wiped out. I was bummed out. Something I've done for close to 20 years at, at the Interfor mill and to be basically thrown out. We're sort of at that point of where we're at in Western Washington. Where do we go from here? Mayor Brian Monahan has an idea. Tap the forest in a high tech way to make cross laminated timber or CLT. That's industry speak for Lego timber. Workers take these pieces made of planks of wood, crossed and slathered with glue, and then fit them together like a toy kit. The result? An environmentally friendly solid wood structure experts say is as strong as steel. Supporters of cross laminated timber believe it could be the ultimate bridge between rural and urban Washington, using timber harvested in forests surrounding small towns like Forks to build skyscrapers, housing, and even schools in big cities like Seattle, but building them faster and cheaper. Maple Elementary is one of three schools in Western Washington being built right now with CLT. The walls of a four classroom school went up in about a day. Last fall, the University of British Columbia used the panels to build a dorm. This time lapse video shows nine workers putting up an 18 floor building in two and a half months. Experts say a traditional approach would have taken up to twice as long and cost up to twice as much to install. I, I could see. Mayor Monahan thinks a CLT plant could slide right into the old mill site. Just building some really neat CLT buildings in Seattle and having folks from Forks drive over and say, well, they, yeah, that's, those panels came from, from us. We were part of that. The holdup? The town is still looking for cash, about $20 million for a new plant. Investors say it's still too new and untested to jump in. But after what the folks here have been through... I hope it does. That's not enough to see this town give up now. There's always somebody that's willing to help. Or ever. Give a lot of people a chance to get back to work out in this area. Well, the biggest reason investors won't go to Forks right now, they're worried skilled workers have left. Now, this is a chunk of CLT actually cut from a larger size, a 10 by 36. So just imagine this is just three layers, but a large piece of this cost, weighs about 4,000 thousand pounds so it's considered very high tech even though it just looks right. like a, a chunk of wood here. So is it possible that investors are thinking that this is just a fad and there's no way we could have wooden skyscrapers? I mean it's a possibility but the product has been in Europe for more than 20 years now and from what investors tell me demand here is growing as well and so for my next story we go to an Oregon plant where they say their business has tripled in the last year and that comes up tomorrow at 7. All right, Lily, interesting stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much.